So this will be really quick, just the basic principle. What I did is that I used my pre-rendered lightning video. What it does is that it's just rotating lightning. I rendered it with my custom lightning generator, generation plugin. I will maybe actually publish it later. But anyway, what you can do, you can keep it like this, rotating. The cheatery will be like rotating. But the, you you know Chidori is more like randomized, like the lightning is appearing in multiple directions. So you, we can randomly choose a frame from the video, and then it will be like this. You know, like well, I can't click that fast, but <laughs> you know the lightning will go to a different direction every time, uh, just like randomly. So how do we do that? Let's go to compositing. Yeah, I have prepared this like basic template. If you don't have this, so just, you know, add input image. This is the input, then output. Composite is the rendering output. Without it, you won't be able to render the animation. And viewer is actually something that you will uh, need to see the result. Now I have imported my video, my footage. Um, uh, we can add the offset. By the way, you uh, click the use notes so you can see the result and you need to click the backdrop so you can see the video. Uh, and or basically the output of the whole node graph. So uh, the offset is in frames, so you can calculate it from the seconds uh, frame rate multiplied by the timestamp, like in seconds. and. So this is, this is basically the main footage. And now I will import the lightning. Now, what we can do is that we can just mix it over the video, something like this. But yeah, we of course want to have it in the hand. So let's add a distort transform node. Now we will switch the lightning to additive mode so that we can see it like over the video and uh, yeah additive mode is good for these lightning effects or just an effect that represents light basically i will show you another lightning mode later so anyway we will <coughs> sorry we will transform the image so that it lies in our hand we can animate it if we need to and now what it does now, now when we yeah you have to actually refresh like this to load all the frames and now you can see that uh, oh, sorry i i need to yeah, move it a bit further so like this and now you can see that the chidori is basically doing what i showed you before it's like rotating around but we we want to make it random so let's click the start frame uh, or just hover over it with the mouse and press I which will add an animation keyframe and now let's go to the uh, graph editor you, we need to have the we actually need to uh, in the compositor we need to have it selected so go to the graph editor now the start frame press N we have the modifiers noise and this noise will actually make the random offset of the start frame. So we can scale it pretty much, or sorry, we can add a strength, which actually does the amplitude of the noise. And the scale is the like time, like the frequency of the noise. So let's put it 0 0.3 and uh, the strength, I don't know, we can do it. It depends on the frames that we have uh, in the video. So it's, it's just randomized. Um, uh, if you have like 2000 frames in the video, then you will have to move it even further. But uh, this is the thing that you don't have to worry much about getting over because uh, we have 100 frames, right? So when we go here now this will be randomized right now yeah, you can see but there can be some like minus or or maybe even frames like 1000 can actually appear there but we can just mark it like cyclic so that 
even if we are in the you know, below zero or even if we are like greater than 100 that it will be just cycling over the animation so now you can see that each frame has a different randomized lightning frame so you can download this lightning video from my website there are like eight variations of the lightning so you can actually add another one and put it over in the same fashion so you have just more of the lightning what i usually do to simulate the lightning is that this is the, just the mask so what i usually do is that i uh, edit multiple times but with a different blur so uh, you i just use it as a factor not as a image now we can add the blur node and actually blur the blur the mask let's call it mask i don't know maybe 70. this looks pretty cool so let's add it to the oh sorry this one and the, the last one will be another blending mode i will show you so like maybe ah maybe i maybe i did too much but let's say 50. You know, this this actually it's necessary to do some tweaks like this to see what's the best option now we can change the color because according to the mask this color will be like shown in the image and to make it like lightning so kind of blue bluish and then maybe maybe i will switch to another yeah this one looks maybe better so let's just uh zoom it a bit so that you can see it so uh usually i actually well, when i do this the glow i usually put as additive mode but the core of the lightning i usually add as a color dodge what it does it's uh, like more transparent and in black areas it will be like the opacity will not be 100 percent white but it will be a bit more transparent which actually does the more organic or i don't know how to call it maybe more energy more like energy feeling or something like that so this is basically the main thing now you can add multiple lightnings like this uh, as for the core of chidori let's just do a simple thing I usually do it like going to the image editor then we're taking the viewer node switch here to the mask new mask we can add a simple oh, sorry not square but we can add a simple circle which will put like over the hand yeah, for example like this and there are like two main things that I usually use a texture let's just create a simple clouds texture it's usually like uh, scaled according to aspect ratio so i need to scale it down a bit in one uh, dimension so again let's just add a mix node let's just add uh, ah, let's say color there now we can play a bit with the noise to make it look more cool now we add the mask as a factor and we have the core here now let's just simply blur it a bit maybe a bit more adding an additive mode for example or may maybe dodge oh, didn't I? no just go with add and we can also use a color ramp here so that the core will be actually colored to blue yeah, something like this again you can play a lot with this so yeah something like this now we can animate the core like here for example go to the first frame go to the offset i which is keyframe 
I don't know, let's go to the to the end of the footage, for example, here, I don't know, maybe we'll just take it here. And we can animate the Z coordinate, so it kind of randomizes the the noise, like for example, one. So when I, now you can take a look that when I move the frame, yeah, the noise changes as well. Yeah, so another thing we can do is to use the mask again oh sorry i don't have to copy i can of course use the same input just add another blue blur like for example 100 to make the core let's switch to dodge and we will make the core more like uh, blinking or somehow you know rapidly changing the opacity by just simply animating the size of the blur let's go again to the uh, graph editor let's randomize the size so that it goes uh, I don't know like this and uh, maybe two and now go back to the compositor and you can see that it will be flashing a bit like like this so and this is basically all you just need to play a bit with this just add some color, color grading and so on maybe you might be interested in the in the effect that I did at the end of the video when I jumped like away from the screen what I basically did was that if you take a look at the video yeah pretty nice right okay so when you take a look at the video uh, what I did was that sorry I will just what I did is <laughs> I just filmed myself you know like throwing the debris or the wood and you know just some leaves and stuff on the ground and then just yeah like this and then I just blended this video like together with the with the original or with the chidori with, with the stance video or i also did like i threw uh leaves like this oh sorry I'm too far so yeah like this and i i just combined all these videos together so what you can basically do just take a look at which frame it actually happens yeah it looks looks like I, I don't know why yeah like for example here I'm throwing the throwing the debris here yeah basically like it's the frame one ah, I mean, I, I'm a bit moved to around 2000 anyway um, so we can do something like this we can add another note with the same video just take a look how it looks like it was somewhere here i think yeah maybe yeah like here and what we can do we can actually just simply very simply mix the video together add in the mix mode now the video is over the original one when I switch uh, sorry when I no it's it needs to be in the view node of course so when I switch you can see that here is the throwing video and under that is the stance video so I can basically do the thing that I will turn off the video just switch here but here you know like I'm standing here and when I disappear it can be switched to this one right but there is one thing that bothers me and that's me actually <laughs> so I need to remove myself I will add a new mask uh, holding control and dragging the mouse I will just mask myself off the video now uh, Alt and C will actually complete the mask. Now go to compositing, and here I can apply the mask to 
remove myself. Now this is the wrong order because now I actually just edit myself Kagebunchi no Jutsu. Yeah, this is another tutorial. Welcome. <laughs> no. So just switch the videos and here I am. Or well, I'm not actually. So you can just switch to the video, right? From this when jumping to this. And that's pretty much all. So this is all I wanted to show you. Basically you can you can you, you do a lot of work with these pre-rendered lightnings which you can download and yeah, enjoy, just experiment a bit. This was very quick. I don't have time to, you know, explain some basic things. You can find them in many other Blender compositing tutorials. So, see you later.